happy Halloween. Happy Ween. In August. We are here for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. This is the second party of the year. We are all dressed up and these are going to last about 80 more seconds because I'm already dying of heat stroke. Um, but we're gonna have a good time tonight. We're gonna show you everything that there is to do. We're gonna, this is, think of this as your ultimate guide to the party. So, you ready? Let's roll. Let's roll. What is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party? This is a special ticketed event that happens after hours at the Magic Kingdom on select nights, August 11th through November 1st. Ticket prices are going to vary depending on the night that you go. They are gonna start at around 109 for adults and 99 for kids and can go up to 199 for adults and 189 for children ages three to nine. If you plan on visiting in August and September, usually more on the weekdays, those are going to be your lesser priced parties. Ones that happen on weekends or special nights like Friday the 13th or Halloween, those are gonna be your ones that are a little more expensive. If you are an annual pass holder, DVC member, or military discount eligible, then you can get discounts on these tickets through the Disney website. Those more popular dates do tend to sell out pretty early so make sure you don't wait go ahead and get your tickets and remember I can help you book your tickets even if you didn't book your trip with me if you want more information about that that's in the description box below you do not need a regular park ticket to attend the party you do have to of course buy your party tickets but if you are wanting to kind of save a little bit of money don't worry you don't have to be at Magic Kingdom all day long but a really good tip is that the park is usually less busy during the day on party nights so it might be good to do your Magic Kingdom day that day. Guests can check into the party starting at 4 p.m. If you only have a party ticket, you're gonna check in at the very, very front of the park. But if you have a day ticket or you are an annual pass holder, or anything like that, and you're already in the park, you can come to one of the wristband distribution stations in the park. There's one in Adventureland, one in Tomorrowland. When you check in, you're going to get your little wristband. I love that there are these little fabric ones this year. This is much nicer than like the normal plasticky not as comfortable ones. And then you're also going to get your treat bag. This is what you can use for trick-or-treating throughout the night. And inside is going to have your party guide. This is incredibly important. Do not lose this. Make sure you have this on you. This is going to have all of the information about the party, including show times, treat locations, all of the good things that are happening during the party. Also in your treat bag, you're gonna have the start of your treats, that's your M&Ms. This event is hosted by Mars Candy, so you're gonna see a lot of like M&M, that kind of stuff around. There are gonna be treat trails all around. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that later tonight. Huge pro tip. There are lockers at the very front of the park. You're gonna be getting lots of candy, probably some souvenirs, and you're probably also gonna get sick of your costume. So it might be a good idea to bring an extra spare change of clothes and get a locker so that you can kind of dump stuff off throughout the night so you're not carrying it all night. Wardrobe change. <laughs> Speaking of which, I do wanna talk about costumes. Something really fun and unique about this event is that you can dress up even as an adult. This is the only time that you can ever dress up as an adult to one of the Disney theme parks. There are some guidelines to be mindful of. For example, if you are th ages 13 and older, there are no masks. You cannot wear any mask of any kind. If you are ages 12 and younger, you can do a mask, but your eyes have to like be visible. Other good general rule of thumb is that if you are wearing something like a cape, it can't go below your waist. You can't have any costumes that are dragging on the ground. There is a full list of all the guidelines on the website. We'll have that linked in the description box. Just be mindful of that, but have fun and get creative. There's some really cool things that people do. Our biggest tip when it comes to Not So Scary is 
you have to have a plan. There's so many things to do at this party, which is kind of a good thing, but also a little bit of a bad thing. You won't be able to do everything. It's basically impossible. So don't make this grave mistake you have to have a plan and prioritize. Speaking of plans, there's a lot to do on our list, so let's see if we can keep this night afloat. That joke would have made a lot more sense if we were still in our skipper costume, but don't skip anywhere to the end of the video or anything like that to see if we actually did it. Again, these jokes aren't working now that we're not in costume. Don't worry, once it gets dark, there's gonna be some dark humor. Something that you can do at the party, definitely not required, it is an add-on and you do have to pay extra for it, is a dessert party. These run obviously during the fireworks and there's two different options. There's a plaza garden viewing that takes place kind of in the hub in the grass area. And then there's also one here at Tomorrowland Terrace right behind me. And the nice thing for that one is that you do get to sit and watch the fireworks. For the plaza garden viewing, these range $99 for an adult and $59 for children. For the treats and seats option here at Tomorrowland Terrace, that ranges for $114 for adults and $69 for children. When it comes to actually getting your desserts, both options, regardless of which one you choose, all the desserts are going to be located here at Tomorrowland Terrace. You get all sorts of unlimited desserts, beer, and wine. There is one add-on to the party that I personally think is a must, and that is Memory Maker. So Memory Maker is Disney's version of a photo pass. This is where they have photo pass photographers stationed all around the park. They'll take your picture. And what makes it really special is that you can do these things called magic shots. These are essentially where you'll like hold your hand out or make a face or something and a fun character or element will be photoshopped into your photo. These can only be done if you have Memory Maker. There's a lot of them. I think last time I counted, there's like 16 different ones that you can do. So I definitely think that it is worth it for the party. There are two options. If you are here on vacation and you already are going to the parks, you can purchase Memory Maker for the length of your trip. It's $169 if you purchase before your trip, which I do encourage you to do, because it is $199 if you wait until your trip to purchase. If you're just here for the party and you just want that Memory Maker for it, it is $99 for a single day, and you can purchase that in the My Disney Experience app. things I want to mention. Number one, if you are traveling during these first few months, it is so hot outside. Like, so, so hot. I already honestly almost passed out, which is why we changed clothes. Uh, so take it slow, drink lots of water. Remember, there's a nice little water bottle refill station here in Cosmic Rays. Also, if you are planning on eating, like an actual meal, all of the quick service locations do close. Quick update. So not all of the quick service locations close. I do think that some of the smaller snack carts do. I checked with a cast member and starting at six o'clock for like Cosmic Rays or like Pecos Bill, those main ones, they will start checking your wristband and they won't let you in unless you have a wrist, wristband after 6 p.m. So we got chicken babies. Speaking of dinner, Cinderella's Royal Table and Be Our Guest are both available for reservations during the party. However, you're paying so much money to be at this party that honestly, if you were to snag a reservation, I mean, you do you, but in our opinion, that would be a huge waste of time and you're basically almost paying like double for it because you're... Anyway, you get the point. There is an asterisk to that though. If you are really adamant about doing Be Our Guest or Cinderella's Royal Table on the night of the party, try to snag a reservation sometime between four and six before the party technically starts at seven. Something cool that you can do during Mickey's Not So Scary is you can ride Tron, but only if you are able to snag a virtual queue. Virtual queue for the party is a special drop that drops at 6 p.m. And I looked about 6.03 and it was already gone. So I think if you plan to ride it, definitely be on your phone, ready to hit, join virtual queue right at 6 p.m. Because I would expect, especially because our party is sold out, I would expect those virtual queues to go like super fast.
One of the most popular things about Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is all of the unique characters that you can meet here. You'll find characters like Elvis Stitch that I think you can only meet here, there's all of the Seven Dwarves, and I know there's obviously tons of others that I can't think of right now. But something important to note is that you can typically start lining up for these characters usually about 6 p.m. So Obviously with your ticket, you can get in at four, but you still wanna really get here before seven to take advantage of that extra time. When it comes to the characters, especially the more rare ones, which ironically are most of them at the party, don't be surprised if the wait times easily reach an hour and beyond. For example, we just walked by Elvis Stitch where he meets in Tomorrowland and it's like, 6.30 and it was already a 90 minute wait. One of our bolder opinions when it comes to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and don't take this for granted, is that you should maybe skip the characters. Again, these jokes aren't working in this t-shirt, but you get the point. In all reality though, jokes aside, prioritize maybe one or two characters that are really, really important to you and get in line early. And yeah, I mean, you're, you're here to have fun. And that's the whole point. So speaking of characters, there are going to be some that aren't going to have as long of a wait. Those are typically going to be your like less rare. So we're in line for Mickey. He's dressed up in his fun Halloween costume. And they, when we got in line about 20, 30 minutes before six, or before seven, 20 or 30 minutes before seven, they said it's about a 20-ish minute wait once the line starts moving, which is right now. So shouldn't be very long. However, uh, right next to us is the line for Jack and Sally. That one's currently 220 minutes. And we talked to some people and they've said that they've already been in line for three plus hours. So that's why those priorities are important. We need to go, let's go, let's go. But that's why I say that it is important to kind of prioritize which characters are most important to you and which ones are skip. You can totally spend your whole party meeting characters if that's what you're here for, but there are a lot of other things that we're gonna show you guys to do at this party. So that's our tip. Prioritize characters and get them done early. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. You look so snazzy. It's like you're here for a party or something. Focus Pocus shirt, Focus Pocus pin, Focus Pocus wine tumbler, Focus Pocus spirit jersey, sparkly, Focus Pocus ears, pumpkin ceramic ornament, the backside of the pumpkin ceramic ornament. This one might be going home with me, Mickey's Not So Scary Party 2023 mug, Not So Scary hat, Not So Scary spirit jersey with spider webs, a glow in the dark kids t-shirt. Why is this only for kids? Not So Scary Service Tumblr, Not So Scary 2023 Pin, Not So Scary Ears. I found the adult glow in the dark t-shirt.
thing that they do at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is ride overlays, or where they basically tweak the ride for the party. This year you'll find ride overlays at uh, Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, Space Mountain, and the teacups over in Fantasyland. In years previous, they used to do a overlay on Pirates right behind me, where they basically have live pirates out basically scattered all throughout the queue and the ride itself. Unfortunately, they're not doing that this year, but in place of that, they have a really, really fun pirate band that does all sorts of pirate music, things like that. They're called Rusty Cutlass, and you'll basically find them on the stage right across from Pirates of the Caribbean here in Adventureland. We've made it to Pecos Bill, and we have our first haul of treats from the party that are all exclusive to the party. From Pecos Bill, we have the Cajun Burger and the Candy Corn Milkshake. And we also stopped at Sunshine Seasons along the way, and we got the Tropical Graveyard. First up, I'm gonna try this Candy Corn Milkshake. You know, you would think I had a corny joke to go along with this, but I don't, surprisingly. I love this. It doesn't taste like candy corn. It mostly just tastes like vanilla, kind of. But the fun thing is, like, it comes with this little, like, I don't, I forget exactly what they said this thing was on top of it. It tastes like a spice cake. It's good, I like it. It's very sweet, I will say. I'll see if I like this uh, tropical graveyard. This is just fun, it's cute. Kids would love this. It's got gummy worms on it. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. It's very sweet again. That key lime is, I think it's key lime. It's really good. It's very tart, very refreshing. And then you get that like nice like gummy worm flavor kind of at the end. This is good. I got the Cajun burger. This was probably the thing I was most excited for, for all the specialty items that they had. It has fried green tomatoes, which I love. It sounded really delicious. These are not included with the price of your ticket, so just be aware that you are gonna be paying additionally for these food items. This thing is quite big. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna make a mess, okay. This might be the best thing that I've had at Pecos Mill. I don't know what's on the bottom, but this has some really delicious flavor, and I like the tomatoes give it some juiciness, some sweetness. That's pretty, pretty tasty. The bun could be a little smaller. The, bu the bun is pretty thick. Oh, there's some spice. It's got a little spicy too. Not too spicy, but yeah, I like that. I was ready for a, a little bit more of a meal, so this, this is hitting the spot. We stopped by Golden Oak Outpost, which we were talking about it. I think the only time we ever go to Golden Oak Golden Oak Outpost is during the Halloween parties because it closes so early that we never get to make it over there. But oh my gosh, this thing looks ridiculous. This is the loaded sweet potato fries. It has marshmallow, something, butterscotch, and something chocolate. The, I don't know, this looks so good though. Those are really good. They're not as sweet as I thought they would be. The stuff on top is delicious. The fries are nice and warm and they are like salted really well. Like they have a good seasoning to them. Uh, these are better than the ones at Epcot, for sure. For that they have for Food and Wine Festival. These are, wow. I might eat this whole thing by myself. <laughs> We are in line for Haunted Mansion now, and this is, in my opinion, it's a must-do during the party because they have the ghosts. So they have like Madame Carlotta, and then usually like a butler, and sometimes the characters will interchange. In years past, they used to be basically right out front of the mansion, so you didn't technically have to ride the ride to get to see them. They have moved. Don't worry, they're not on vacation in Malibu, but you do this year have to ride and get in the queue to actually see them this year.
No, I can't see you. Right oh, there. Yes, hello. Well, I like the one of the orange. Is that an orange shirt, sir, in the baseball? What's your name? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so we're making an epitaph for his tombstone? Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, I've got one. You do one? Yes. Thing. Poor old Ello. He ate the bad jello. He did. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I add that as a little button anymore because I just like the way it sounds. Oh, you certainly. You the epitaph? He just go, he did. Yes. I, mean, I don't know what people like it. Though. What's your name with the with the bad boy? Well, yes, that bad boy right there with the goatee. Though. He's a bad boy. What's Bobby. your name? Bobby. Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Bob. All right. Bob. Bob. I'm thinking Bob. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, no, I, I lost it. No. Bob. Bob! 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 Hello, Bob! Like anything you've ever seen. Get ready for this is Halloween! The fireworks show only happens once during the party, so make sure you don't miss it. The coolest part of this show is the massive Jack Skellington puppet that appears on the castle stage during the fireworks. Because of this, we recommend trying to get as close a spot to the stage as you can, but not so close that you can't see the fireworks. Here's my major pro tip. Follow the first parade from Liberty Square through the hub. It will lead you on the path right in front of the castle, and once you get a spot you like, you can stop. We did this and found this view super easy without having to waste a ton of time staking out a spot. You will find tree trails all over the park. You can check your party guide for locations, but also just look for the large blow up pylons. Have allergies? You can collect tokens to redeem for allergy friendly treats at the redemption locations listed in your party guide. P.S. I do recommend bringing a backpack or a larger bag as you will get a ton more candy than will fit in that tiny bag. For the kiddos, you can enjoy two dance parties in Tomorrowland the Disney Junior Jam here in Cosmic Rays, and the Zom Beats Bash on the Tomorrowland stage. showings of the parade. My tip is to go for the second parade. It'll be a little less busy and easier to find a good spot. It starts in Frontierland and goes through Liberty Square, in front of the castle, and then finishes down Main Street. Because of that, it can take about 20 or 30 minutes to make it to Main Street. So even though it's fun to watch from there, I recommend watching from Frontierland so that you can get back to the other party activities while everyone else is still waiting down Main Street.
your world and the magical world collide for but one night. A night filled with a little trick, a little treat, and a bit of hocus pocus. <laughs> What is the year? I said what year is it? <laughs> Systems! It's been 30 years since we've last returned. We're getting better at this. <laughs> well, that is why we are returned to celebrate Halloween and to throw the most villainous Halloween party that this kingdom has ever seen. As the Shadow Man. Shadow Man? Shadow Man. Now here y'all are and you can change it around some too. I look deep into your heart and soul. You got a soul, don't you? I got food, I got food, I got things I ain't even tried. And I a poor sinner's hand. Why, we love to. Yeah. If you want, like, the closest thing to time travel, just come to Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party because it flies by. Literally, we had a list. We did not even get through all of it. No. And I guarantee you that you probably won't either. But I think that's where it goes to show that the most important thing is really prioritize those things that you have to do during the party and focus on those things because you, I mean... We're Disney pros and we did not get everything done that we wanted to. So we did have a blast though. It was a lot of fun. Yes. We saw some great shows. We ate some fun food and now we are dead tired. And dead it, tired. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And it's five minutes until the uh, transportation stops running. So we have got to go, but we hope you guys enjoyed. That's all we have for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your, your ever, ever after. after. Ready? Is this music too loud? Have fun color grading all this. Is it on? Are we yeah. going? Okay. Um, uh, a lot of nights that are on the weekends or closer to Halloween. 
nights. Should we move over here? That's fine. I'm gonna put my sunnies on, I think. Okay. You get all sorts of unlimited treats, beer, wine. What else? I think I had a joke about one of our older opinions is that don't waste your time waiting for character meet and greets. Don't take your time can for. You, can you say that a little more like more confidence? <laughs> say it like you mean it. 